the winter fat is gone, most people are left with spring rolls. Yeah, speaking of spring, spring is here. It's like skiing down a wet, slippery slope. And suddenly you become a tree hugger. Skiing drama is making a mountain out of moguls. Dominatrix ski bums love cutting a sharp edge. I'm an avid cross-country skier, but so far I've never left America on skis, that is. Just by the way, vinyl has outsold CDs for the first time since 1980s. Yes, Take my toe, my right foot, press it on the starter. My truck, it sputters and spits. And it won't crank over. It's sub zero, 20 below. I get out and push, jump back in and jam her in second gear. Roll her down the hill, still won't catch. Get to the bottom of the hill by the swamp, and I jump out and grab a wrench and pull the battery out and back to the house. Oh, a battery's a heavy thing to carry in a windstorm when it's 20 below, but the wind ain't too fast and it ain't too slow. Climb that mountain. Get back in the cabin. Stick that battery right next to the wood stove. See if I can thaw it out before it cracks. Connect it to a charger. Throw some more wood in the fire. Wondering what I'm doing, he laying on the couch, his head spinning round. And about a half hour later, I figure I got enough charge in that battery to crank that old Chevy over. I grab that battery, put it on my shoulder, proceed to leave the house, and old Clint is barking and howling. He wants to go with me, and I say, This ain't no morning to be leaving a dog out in a windstorm. I leave him home. Fight the wind and fight the cold. I'm down the bottom of the hill, connecting the cables to the battery. Jump in and wham, bam. Thank you, old truck. It cranks over and spinning good push the choke back in and climb back up the hill and I got her idling in the drive and go back in the house to fetch Clint. We're gonna go for a ride. Figure we'll go to the woods and cut some trees and logs and pull them out on the tractor. Make ready for spring thaw and maple slurple season. Take a lot of wood to feed that stove, to boil down that sap into that sweet gold. As I enter the house, I notice something's awry. The rug's all torn up and the chairs are all ripped to tathers. And I guess old Clint was kind of upset with me for not letting him go out in the windstorm. I'm telling you, this was no day take a dog out in a windstorm. Well, that's the story of Clint and me. I'll tell you another story about Clint. Came home one time. It was a hole in the 
inside of the chicken coop. Went inside the chicken coop and all the chickens were dead. So I go and I get some new spring chicks and I build a special cage and somehow old Clint gets through that wire and kills all them chicks. I guess he didn't like chicks. Another time I came home and Clint had bore a hole through the back of the shack. Well, I said, you know, Clint, it's time for me and you to depart. So I grabbed the shotgun and Clint and I took a walk over the hill. Got to the top of the hill. And I put some shells in those chambers and put a double barrel on. I looked at Clint and said, nah, the dog is a man's best friend. Ah, we walked down the hill, and Clint and I, we were pals to the very end. A man and a dog, they're always best friends. Now Clint got old, and old is bold, and so I'm told dogs don't last forever. Eventually, they meet their maker. I'm with the shoe, do. Enjoy. Or not. <laughs>